portfolio on Fox tonight. When you think of boarding schools, maybe you think East Coast, ivy-covered buildings, or maybe even like a Harry Potter movie or something like that. You probably don't think of small-town Arizona, though. But one of the top boarding schools in the country is in Arizona, just outside of Prescott, where Wild West meets academics. And now the Orm School is proving to be a leader in sustainability and environmental studies. Down a long, dusty road, about an hour north of Phoenix, lies an oasis where flowers grow and quaint cabins line the property. A former cattle ranch turned boarding school. Orm School started as a necessity in the late 1920s, partially out of the need for the Orm family, who owned the ranch, to educate their children and the ranch hands' children. And it was all done in this old adobe schoolhouse. When you go inside, you'll see that. There are brackets up in the ceiling, so the students would, during the day, put their beds up into the brackets. We still use it today as a classroom. Equine science happens in here. It was an entirely self-sufficient little um, building that they had going here. Self-sufficiency has always been rule number one here out of necessity. But now that resourcefulness is attracting people to this small school. This is plant science class. Science Orm students come from 17 countries and 11 states. You're from where? St. Petersburg. Russia. Mm -hmm. This is my second home. This I love it. I absolutely love it. Here you're living with the nature. You can see squirrels running around and... It's just amazing. Lyra has class in the garden where she built this bench as part of a school project. This is, is a bench made out of cob, clay, sand, and water, and some straw mixed together. The plant science class picking fresh vegetables to bring to the kitchen for lunch. Meanwhile, across campus, Alex Alleman is using a different method to grow plants. So this is my aquaponic system. It's really amazing just to see the whole system come into play. An inner city kid from L.A., he now plans to study environmental science in college and make a living doing this kind of work. Working with fish, maybe having my own aquaponic system. All the classes are like hands-on, especially the science classes. So we do like pull the book out and like read and stuff, but after that we either go outside and he shows us like examples. That's the key here putting the academics to practical use. We get as local as possible, as fresh as possible. Patty Mars runs the Farm to Table program. They plant the seeds, they transplant, they harvest, they bring it to the kitchen, they prep it, they cook it, and they eat it. And then every, all the waste is composted. We're 100% composting kitchen. And here's where the sustainability program comes full circle, at dinner time when the kids eat what they've grown. I'm from Los Angeles, California. I came here mostly for the horses and the competition, um, and, you know, I can ride every day here. Whether they come here for the appeal of a Western lifestyle or the sustainability program, this small Arizona school is redefining the boarding school experience. It's so beautiful up there. Yeah, I mean, it I'll makes say. you kind of want to go back to school and yeah. give it a try, that kind of a slow lifestyle. Uh, Nancy Reagan and Ronald Reagan sent their daughter Patty there. There have been a lot of famous uh, dignitaries who've sent their kids there. It's just a different take on what people think of boarding school. Right. Because it's, in a, it's really like the Wild West. And pulling students in from all over the world like that. Like that. How did that Russian student even know that the Orm existed, right? Well, the one kid from L.A. said, I love it. I have uh, one of my uh, classmates and, and my bunkmate is uh, from China. I've got kids from Russia. It's like having wow. a world a, a class experience. And you like the food. And the food was great. Right Very there. healthy. Very healthy. How about that? Very cool story, Carrie. Love that.